best setter. Oh. I'm not doing that again. I don't have volleyball skills or volleyball. Anyways, you don't know who I am. I'm Ron Fantasy. I make recaps and reviews of different animes. This is episode who knows what, but this time I'm doing Haikyuu. Haikyuu's coming out October 3rd. Last week's video was of One Punch Man Strength, and the week before that was Dr. Stone review recap thing. I'll put a link below if you want to see it. Anyways, season, this next season, season 4, part 2, or season 5, whatever you want to call it, is going to pick up exactly where it left off in last season, right in the middle of a game. So, if you don't know what happened or remember what happened in last season, I'm going to do a quick recap to refresh your memory, because this is coming out October 3rd, as I said before. All right. So the beginning of the season, Kageyama got invited into a all Japan like training camp or something. So basically, people have potential to become big leagues, big time volleyball players, and they're all under the age of nineteen. So basically, all high school students. Whereas Suki, 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 Suki was invited to a rookie camp, which is like all freshmen, and some of them are just like uh, juniors in middle school, whatever. But like last grade which i think for japan would be ninth grade but so yeah shuya was not very happy about not being invited into either camps mainly because he just sucks like he can't do anything except for spike and not even that because he needs literally assist to a whole new level just to spike but he does crash Suki's tra training camp for like the five days he's there he's just ball boy the entire time though but he does observe Everyone that's playing, he watches the different players. He even gives advice to some of them, which honestly, some of the players are at probably worse than Hinata or Shoyo, just for the simple fact that they like had not even a year of volleyball training, whatever. But that was just one person. Back to the subject, he also learns a new skill called split step, which is basically like momentum control, which I started explaining without showing you, but. It's like when you go up, you stop for a second and do whatever you're going to do, jump or move to the side so you're able to receive the volleyball correctly and on top of that control your momentum so you don't mess up while doing your thing. This is also using tennis, which is, I probably could explain better since I should play tennis. Anyways, that doesn't matter. Show you is able to do split step up to a certain degree because he still sucks receiving, but he's able to do receive better than he was before, which he was just using his face. Meanwhile, since... Shoyu was not invited, but yet he's still learning how to play volleyball. Suki feels not necessarily threatened, but like, bro, you're not even invited here, yet you're getting better. I should probably start picking up my slack. And so, meanwhile, he attempts to do more, tries more. He doesn't even play volleyball for like seriously like everybody else. I think he's just there more or less because he wants to pass the time. But that's just my opinion. Back to the facts. So Suki also ends up trying for the next five days. Shoyo learns more, Suki gets better, and boom, the improvement. Or the improvement, they improve, whatever. Meanwhile, at all at all Japan's God, I had a brain fart. Meanwhile, at all Japan's training camp, Kageyama gets to train with the best of the best, best high school volleyball players in the country. Which is a pretty big deal since he's still a freshman, but whatever. He Practices his communication skills as well as being being an all-round player before he specializes setting which he still does But he's also able to do the other different categories better like receive and uh, Be able to play the ball without necessarily setting He's a more well-rounded player which obviously helps out later in the tournament spring tournament Which I also I actually forgot to mention this but spring tournaments happening which is why these training camps and extra practices are Available to some of them. Meanwhile, back to the actual subject. Like I said like twice now, gosh. Kageyama also practices communication skills, which before he just tells his teammates what to do. Now he's actually talking to them, getting to know them, and seeing what the preference is for settings instead of assuming that all the sets are the same and perfect for them. Because no one likes the king of the court. Anyways, after the five days of training, they go back to their actual school and end up practicing like normal somewhat is honestly more they have to prepare more for tournament stuff but they have practice games and the practice game they have with date tech we probably have like one of the smoothest care developments in the show so far so far so curse i'm gonna have a practice game with date tech which in previous battles their block their wall block 
was impenetrable and they had troubles. This time is 10 times worse. Let me demonstrate. Get that out of here. But that's basically what happened every time they try to spike the ball or get it over the net. For the most part, for the first few sets. And then Kageyama was self-conscious because of he was caught a good two shoes during his camp. And he also didn't want to become the king of court again. And there was also some other issues here and there. Basically, their teamwork, motivation, and their coach, which is a GOAT, got Kage had Kageyama get through his self-conscious phase. And everyone else got their momentum back. And so they end up just demolishing Daytech. Maybe not demolishing per se, but they were doing heck a lot better. They're getting through their wall blocks. and But the coach noted that next year, their walls probably will be basically like unstoppable because they still had a trouble time, even with even with the motive, not motivation, even with the momentum that they had during the game, getting point after point, they still had issues with that wall. But they had a good battle day tech. Now their teamwork is solid, like even more solid than it was before and now they're ready for the spring tournament which this is actually where we're about to catch up so note since this is anime and also like not super serious or whatever there has to be some unnecessary random behind scenes and romance here and there like show using his shoes and the girl Tanaka knew when he was in grade school but putting that aside note this is actually their first national tournament that they've been through even the seniors in all three years they went to high school, they never was in the national tournament. Not even their seniors who already graduated. So this is a pretty big deal for them. They're nervous, obviously, and, and their first game proved to be rather difficult. They were fighting against a school called Shushu, oh my gosh. Shuka Bakanari. Let's just call it that. It's Nara. But anyways, that's the school they're fighting against. And they were doing rather decent. Minus the fact that one guy did an underhand serve, which caused issues for everyone because they couldn't receive it right away. But they were still able to win the match because they are amazing. Also, like, I summarized this, although this battle or match took up half the season, and I just summarized it in like 30 seconds. That is very actually like anticlimactic. But they do have a tough time. They do end up winning, obviously, and then boom, they move on to the next fight. Or, like, not fight. But they move on to the next battle or match, and they're they're ready. They're now prepared for this, or even more prepared than they were before. They're used to the like pressure and whatnot, and then that's where things go downhill. They have to fight one of the champion schools in their second match. What's all of these names? What the heck? Ina Inarizaki, hi, or Ina hi, like they call, it, which actually has Mia, the guy Kage. Kageyama do in this training camp. Turns out he has a twin brother and their teamwork is literally BS. Like, what? But these Mia brothers are quote unquote like one of the best of the best and their teamwork is nearly undefeated or basically undefeated. Top notch, you know, hype up those guys. But it's actually pretty cool. Even the Mia, blonde hair Mia, went to go serve. He put his hand down and his crowd was just silent. I'm sorry, yeah, I did have to include the clip of that because that was probably one of the coolest scenes in all of Haikyuu. But now they're spooked because his serves are ridiculously fast, even faster than the guy they meant in like season one or two, which I do not remember his name. But he was... That's where we left off, basically. They're in the second match, literally right after, like, the first three or four points was dished out. And now their school, Kageyama and his team, have more issues to deal with. Season 4, Part 2, or Season 5, whatever you want to call it, is coming out October, as I mentioned earlier. And that's where it's going to take off, or pick back up. This is also the last season, because the manga actually finished recently. So... If you read the manga, please don't spoil the season, obviously. But, yeah, hopefully the season actually ends up really well. Hopefully I at least finish the tournament minimum. Because I'm actually hyped up for this. I make these videos weekly on Fridays. And if I don't make them weekly, they're sure to come out at minimum every two Fridays. Or every other Friday. That being said, like I said earlier, last week's video was One Punch Strength. I also released a... 
uh, drawing video two days ago about Levi, he's actually coming out the paper, which I actually really like this. It's probably my best one so far. But if you want to watch that, feel free. And there's also Dr. Stone, as I mentioned earlier in the video, which I made two weeks ago. All three will be linked in the description below. If you like this, obviously feel free to like or subscribe. It doesn't really matter as long as you enjoy the video. That being said, this is the end of the video. Have a nice day.